Hey all, Will Healy here. I recently had a customer call me and they were having trouble after the holiday shutdown. One of the robots, when it came back online, started producing all these bad quality parts. So they went to it and they asked, hey man, what's going on? And the robot replied, sorry man, I'm a bit rusty. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, welcome back to Dad Joke Friday and the New Year. Um, today I've got a connectivity basics for you, talking about automation cables. And specifically, I want to talk about the connectors today. And I'm going to make a couple of videos about connectors, but today I just want to talk about the different types that you'll encounter. And uh, so let's get started. So on sensors, typically what you'll find is what's called an M12 connector or an M8 connector. And uh, all that means is metric, the pitch of the threads, right? And so usually it's M12 by one. And so what that means is it's 12 millimeters across the pitch there and one 360 degree turn moves the connector in one millimeter. And so um, the M12 connector is, is very, very standard and very common and uh, it connects to sensors. Now there's tons of information about M12s. I'm gonna make a video just about those. Uh, but M12 is very common on automation sensors as well as the M8. And M8 comes in two configurations, the three wire and the four wire. And that's important because you can't plug a four wire on a three wire and vice versa. But M8 again is just eight millimeters across and the thread pitch and it's M8 by one as well. And so these are the two most common. But other types of connectors that you're gonna encounter are things like the M16 connector, some uh, multiple interface blocks, junction blocks or uh, sensors require an M16 connection. Uh, an M23 connection is very common on a home run cable on a junction block like this. So you hear M16, M23, that's just 16 millimeters across. So you can see M8 is half as big as M16, right? And so uh, that's how you, you understand those connectors. Um, but you'll also see a lot of standard kinds of threads. Like this is a half inch connector. It's typically used for like AC power versus DC power. Um, uh, and then you have seven eighths inch, very commonly used for uh, for power cables, whether it's AC or DC. Uh, and you don't see it as much on sensors, but you see it very much on the power side of automation. Uh, we use these a lot on I.O. blocks, distributed I.O. blocks on the machine for, for sending DC power to the I.O. blocks. You have uh, one inch connectors you see commonly on uh, safety equipment and, and some things like that. And one inch connectors are used to connect like junction boxes to other junction boxes. And then same deal with uh, one and an eighth inch connectors. So there's these are typically used for sending signals across uh, different areas or for, for bigger devices uh, and, and bigger currents. Uh, then you have some more, I wouldn't call them specialty, but like valve manifold, solenoid valves, those kinds of things. You see these DIN style connectors. There's a bunch of different versions of these I'll talk about in another video. Uh, but DIN style connectors uh, commonly connect to, to valves and solenoids. Uh, you have RJ45, of course. You'll encounter RJ45s in a couple of configurations, and we'll talk about network cables in another video. And then some other things like uh, DIN connectors, or, or uh, not DIN connectors, I'm sorry, uh, Deutsch connectors used in like the mobile equipment industry. So connectors that, that look a little bit different or even some antenna cables, like this is an RF cable uh, used for, for UHF RFID. So uh, there's lots of different types of connectors, but the ones I want you to remember are the sensor cables, the M8, the M12, and just knowing the size that you need and, and what the connector uh, needs to be. There's lots of different types, but M8 and 12, uh, 7 8 inch, these are really the most common ones you encounter. Uh, I, I'd, I'd be remiss to forget an M5 is a tiny little connector for some sensors that are tiny and little. I don't have one in my bag. I used to, I don't know what happened to it, but uh, there's uh, M8, M12, 7 8 inch. Those are, those are the most common ones that, that we see in the sensor and the, the IO part of the machine. So until next time, ask yourself, what will I automate next?